Now, some of you may know this story. Once upon a time, people used to create documents using typewriters, and these were created in what was known as typing pools. These were offices where people sat every day producing their documents on typewriters, and it was a very structured environment. Most people who used to work in typing pools would be there for a long time. These were experts. They knew how their machines worked. They knew exactly what they were doing. They also were very, very structured. They would come in at a certain time. They would stop for lunch at a certain time. They would come back and they would finish. It was a familiar world, a world where people felt really, really comfortable. And then along came the computers. And with this particular company that I'm talking about, they had women working in the typing pool. And these guys came in from the consultancy bringing in the new computers. And they started to talk to these women about, these computers are completely different to everything you've done before. They're nothing like typewriters. They're so different, so innovative, and you will not have to worry about typewriters again. They're finished. Now, by saying this to the women here, they freaked them out because these people were used to doing things in the same way. That was the way their minds worked. They liked the order. They liked to know what was happening. To be told everything was new, complete and different was so alien to them, they couldn't focus. They couldn't quite comprehend this. Hello and welcome. My name is Fiona Campbell. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use motivational language skills. These are the skills that you use by using language to help to motivate others. Many people when they're working with others and looking to help to motivate others forget one fundamental fact. We are not all motivated in the same way. People assume that just because they're motivated in a specific way, everyone else is as well. What we're going to be showing you today is the different ways that people actually motivate themselves internally. No one can motivate anyone. We're all motivated by our own thoughts, feelings, beliefs and experience. What we're covering is known as metaprograms. This is an NLP term and it's a term for how on the unconscious level, it's actually below consciousness, we're running programs in our brains that motivate ourselves. So the way to actually find these programs is to listen to the language because the only way people can tell you about what's going on inside their brain is through language. And by listening to language, language will start to reveal the specific patterns that are being run at that point of time. Now, the thing about metaprograms is that they're not static. They're context-driven. They're also driven by experience. They're driven by maturity. And they change. It depends how someone feels. Depending on how confident someone's feeling, it can affect the metaprograms or motivational programs that they're running internally. So the skill of becoming really good at using motivational language is to listen to what's being presented at that point of time because once you can listen to what's being presented and then match not only with the same language but the same tonality, people will become motivated and not quite understand why. They will feel valued, they will feel as if they've been understood and they just get on with things. Now, how this is valuable to a company and how this is a valuable tool for a leader is because when you are able to allow others to feel motivated, they become far more productive. You get a lot less conflict. People just go with the flow and get on with things, which increases company productivity. And in the end, ultimately, will improve your profits. Now, we all create our own map or model of the world. And the sign of a true business leader is someone who has the skills to be able to adapt to the specific worlds that people are operating from. Just because someone is motivated, for example, if I'm motivated in a certain way, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single person I'm talking to is motivated in the same way. And a lot of people make this mistake. They assume that everyone is just motivated in the same way that fits with them. 
For example, if you have a business leader or any sort of leader that's working with people and they're motivated very much towards something, they'll start using words like, go for it, yes, you can do it. I know you can just attain it, you can do this, you can do that, you can do whatever. Now, if someone is actually operating from a point of a way, in other words, they don't go for things, they wait until things are too painful, then they move away from that, that was going to be a complete mismatch in language. So when you're working with leadership, when you're working with linguistic skills, it's vitally important that you're able to match the model of the world of the people you're working with and to know that these models are independent and individual to each person you're working with. The way to become really good and use motivational language skills elegantly is to start by listening. Now what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover six of the main patterns that tend to be used in business. Now the lovely thing about meta programs is they are on a scale, there's one extreme and another extreme. Very few people are there or there, they're somewhere in the middle and they're very much affected by context, mood, experience as I mentioned before. So what you do, I would highly recommend you pick one pattern, just one to start with and start to hear where that pattern is being used, you will hear it in the language. I'm going to be showing you the different language that corresponds with the different patterns so that you'll be able to identify how someone is actually processing the information that you're giving them so that you can match that with your tonality and also with the language you're using. So to get really good at this, start with one, and then once you've really mastered using one, you can add another one and another one. And gradually that way will allow you to become very elegant, very skilled and start to use motivational language in a very powerful way.